Hey YouTube, it's Aiden slash Breaker Bob, whatever you want to call me, here talking about our something brand at the NAM show, NAM with two M's. Um, Edwards. That's it. That's the brand. That's what we're talking about. Again, my disclaimer, I work for two drum corps, um, Jupiter, not Jupiter, Pacific Crest, sponsored by Jupiter, and Cadets, sponsored by Yamaha, and my views do not represent those organizations at all in this respect, and I play almost entirely con Selmer instruments, though I am not sponsored. So, on to Edwards. My first instrument that I played there, they actually had all the Getsons, all that kind of stuff. I didn't play the Getsons. I am super biased against Getsons, so <laughs> I kind of try to stay away from them, and that's totally fine. You guys can buy them if you want. Anyway, Edwards. I started at with the B502i. This is the Jim Markey bass trombone. This has independent Rotax valves with the harmonic bridge. Um, and I think this horn had a single bore slide, yellow bell, kind of just the normal normal B502i. Nothing crazy about it. No weird things in the harmonic bridge. Um, I thought this instrument was good. Like one step, one one or two steps above meh. I thought it was built pretty well. The slide was pretty slow. Um, not not like very amazing. I just I picked it up and I played it for a while and I just kind of went, yeah, like it's okay. Like I I could live with it. And of course I would have I would clean the slide and it would be a lot better and I'd be more happy with it. Um, and I thought the sound was pretty good. The articulations were pretty good. The horn is just a little stuffy down low for me. Um, I really would like to know what Jim Markey now uses for his mouthpiece just to see how it matches up with this instrument. Because I was just not super pleased with how it blew. It kind of feels like the Yamaha 822G, the Doug Yo model, which is designed around the Doug Yo mouthpiece and is kind of a resistant trombone. It's not super open. And it's built that way. It's supposed to be that way. And with his mouthpiece, it really kind of plays correctly. Um, and I kind of want to try that in the marquee bass because I was just not super happy with it. Um, not a bad horn by any means, but not blowing me away. Um, and I've I've had this every time I've played it. I think I played one last year at NAMM, but I definitely played one at ITF last year. And I had the same feeling like, okay, it's, it's all right, but I'm not getting the magic that a lot of people seem to get out of it. Again, like the last couple times, I played the B502D, which is the, or 502D, wrong emphasis there, which is the Jerry Pagano instrument, which is kind of the same thing, but dependent. So two Rotax valves with it in a dependent configuration. Um, this one had a gold bell. Otherwise, they're pretty similar in most aspects. I'm sure there's some small differences per artist, but um, I like these horns more. Um, they play a little more open, just kind of easier for me than the I version, the independent version. Um, and this one was no different. Um, still, just kind of slow valves, like not fast enough for how small they are, uh, the row taxes. I mean, those, the valves alone are like $700 or something. They are so expensive. And maybe Edwards are not oiling them, maybe they're not set up right, but they just like they need to be really good if you're going to sell them with these little valves. Um, and I'm, I'm saying little as in their size small. They they are not bad valves by any means. Um, but again, just not really blown away. And I thought this one was actually not as good as the one I played at ITF 2017. Um, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, and again, like the 502i, it had a good sound, but not one that really like blew me away. So both of these horns I thought were good. Not excellent. And then I played the T396. I guess it has an A at the end. This is the Joseph Alessi tenor trombone with a Rotax valve. Um, a Sterling silver lead pipe stock, I think. And other little goodies, a gold tuning slide, yellow bell. Um, this horn is amazing. Man, these horns are so good. Um, of course, I play a quote-unquote Joseph Alessi mouthpiece, a Greg Black New York series, which is very similar to his old Alessi series with some changes after Alessi left Greg Black. So not exactly the same as what Alessi would have played. 
but my mouthpiece is the same rim size as Alessi plays, and maybe like one size shallower than he usually plays. So a very close-ish match to what Alessi would use on his instrument. And when you get that close, man, the horn just lights up. It's so easy to play in all registers. The sound, the articulations, it's all right there, and it's just like, just so easy to access. Man, I have articulations, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Yeah, the articulations just leap out of the instrument with like, just like a fist behind them. It felt so good to play. One of the best tenors at the whole show. Um, very well built. This valve was not slow. For some reason, this horn seemed to be in much better shape than the two basses. And I'm not really sure why. Um, the basses and the 396 are both backordered for like nine months or some crazy something, some time frame like that. So they're, they're making these at a pretty good clip to keep up with orders. And I'm, I'm not sure why the tenor would be in so much better shape than the basses would be. Anyway, the 396 was really, really, really good. Really happy with that. Um, I would not mind one bit owning one of those and just being happy with that for the rest of my life. Um, overall, Edwards, they only had the three trombones there. No customs. The B454, T350, there we go, T350. They didn't have any of those there. Um, not super surprised, but that's okay. I wouldn't really, I don't really need to play those, I guess. But I would get Edwards like a good plus grade. Um, the two bases were good. And the 396 was really, 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 really good, um, which kind of stands out because there were lots of good bases at the show and not a lot of really amazing tenors. So pretty good job, Edwards. Pretty good.